Hello guys, Brickclick here, and today we have more LEGO leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video or subscribe and turn on notifications to help us get to 70,000 subscribers, but let's get into it. So last year, LEGO revived the Lord of the Rings theme to huge success, and this year, of course, we're getting a brand new set, which everyone can't wait for. That one, of course, be 10333 Lord of the Rings Baradur. So McQuinnan is potentially the biggest set of this year with 5,471 pieces. That one is sending you back a whopping $460, or about £400. It's going to be launching in just two months now on June. June 1st 2024 and we haven't had too many details other than those over the past few months but today we finally had the minifigure lineup we know in this set that 10 minifigures at least will be included which is going to be amazing those are going to include Frodo, Sam and also a moulded golem returning which is going to be great then to fill up Barad Dirt we'll also have four orcs included these will be slightly varied with two being brown and then two being green and then for the big ones we're going to be getting Sauron, Mouth of Sauron and also a Nazgul as the minifigures so I'm sure the moulds on the brand new ones like Sauron Sauron and also Malfa Sauron could be pretty incredible. So the little minifigure lineup pretty much suits the grandeur of this set. Can't wait to see images of this one. I presume we will see them around the start of May. And on top of that, last year we saw the giant UCS Venator launch, which was a huge success. But this year they're doing something original trilogy for that UCS set. We now have confirmation officially that Senfi 397 will be the UCS Jabba Sail Barge. It's going to be coming in with 3,942 pieces, so a ginormous set as well. That one, quite an expensive price tag for. Star Wars coming in at $500. So in the UK, that one is going to be coming in at around £430. That one is going to be launching right at the end of this year on October 3rd, 2024. And actually, just like the last playset version, but this time in UCS, we'll be getting a lot of minifigures. There will be 10 minifigures included with Jabba's Sail Barge. That pretty much suggests there will also be a pretty detailed interior for you to place all the minifigures. So it explains why you are getting high price with the 10 minifigures. Those are going to include, of course, Jabba the Hutt himself, R2-D2, C-3PO, and also a Delicious crumb. People are going to be really happy to get Jabba once again. Some of the other ones include my favourite, Max Rebo will also return, Klaatu, Nikto, Biff Fortuna and Gamorrean Guard. And for the big one, the last one is Sail Barge Leia will be returning. I know there's been some controversy in the media, so I'm glad it is actually returning as there was a bit of doubt for that one. Then of course we'll have a separate set launching in August for $85, being one of the desert skiffs to go alongside the Sail Barge, which the rest of the figures from that scene will be included in. But that's all as 4-0, 30 is the gift we purchased, being Luke Sky was lightsaber. This one should be a premium boxed 18 plus promo, and this one should contain 145 pieces. This one will be a gift for purchase on October 3rd only when you buy the sale badge, which is a good and also a bad thing for that exclusivity. And like I said just then, we did get a Luke Skywalker's lightsaber in the past, but this one will be the green version we see on the scene when they're actually on the sale badge, so that'll be a really good set and also exclusive giveaway purchase. Once again, images of a set launching a little bit sooner, that being the Commander Cody Brickheads. This one launching for $10 or £10 on May 1st. I absolutely love this one. You know I love Brickhead, so I'll definitely be picking this one up. We still need to see images of the Phantom Menace pack also launched on May 1st. Of course, if you have images of that or anything else, any leaks, rumors, early set finds, you can message me on Instagram at Brickly underscore clicker and also follow me for the latest news or you can me on BrickClickerLeaks at gmail.com. We got images of some brand new LEGO City like, kind of classic mashup sets which are going to be launching on May 1st. These are going to be priced at $15 or £12.50, which is actually incredible value. First one does have a white space one suit in it. Then the second one will be an alien planet with lots of different habitats so they are really cool unique space sets that we're getting as all part of the big space theme for this year and another thing that we're getting for architecture 21061 the highly anticipated notre dame cathedral it's going to be 4383 pieces and retailing for 230 dollars and that one also launching with barred on june 1st 2024 which is going to be a massive release date we now have some more information that the roof can be detached and also the towers on notre dame can be detached to look inside and so there is going to be a bit of a mod allowed to expect to this one and there is going to be a full interior so there will be a detailed interior with the columns and also the arches so not only are they doing a great outside but also interior which they don't always do with the architecture theme and some of the features will include a rounded nave bell towers and also the rose windows so that iconic rose window you see on the outside is going to be replicated in lego which i'm really interested to see how they end up doing and there will also be the central spire of course the iconic part of notre dame also with the detailed sculptures will be included so i cannot wait to see that part of notre dame either and finally we 
which doesn't happen with architect sets we are getting a plaque with the building and with some details and also information given this is the biggest lego architect set ever they're giving it a plaque like we see with those big lego icon sets things like the titanic things like that which is definitely welcome kind of wait for that brand new architect set just like barada i presume we'll see images in early may and next up in the lego cities magazine we are going to get a space few months go over all the space stuff we have a little space droid and also one of the mining suits in orange that one is pretty good to get those space mining suits cheaper from the space lineup in the next lego batman magazine we are going to be getting a mario scale batmobile no money for getting included this one as it is mario scale but not a bad little build for 48 pieces uh, if you are going to be picking up the dc batman magazine which will be launching in even may i presume and then for the lego friends one we are going to be getting a little race course for a dog a little play area and where you can train the little puppy dog which is also included so not a bad little gift we purchased for the friends magazine and then for lego disney we got to look at the inside out two set this one kind of a disney x dot smash up set where we are going to be getting a mini doll version of joy and also anxiety which is part of the brand new film which is going to be launching in theaters in the next few weeks but yeah not for me that one i think our potential if it did it bigger include all the minifigures but i just think it is pretty good as a kind of unique concept and a smaller set for a younger audience then we're going to move on to lego dc where we got some information about what is a rare occurrence of a brand new way for the theme we are getting four sets in june first off in 76 2674 the batman the animated series batmobile we now know this set will include a rotatable display stand and also an information plaque so they're making it for adults to display it also for kids and when you move the batmobile on the floor it will have a spinning flame with exhaust which is pretty good and i presume it is going to be in the dark blue color as soon as they use that in the gotham skyline and it will include three minifigures including holly coming with a hammer batman with a rubber cape and mr freeze with a stud shooter so they are slightly varying the minifigures what we saw in the gotham skyline that one coming in with 435 pieces and should be returned for 60 dollars next up we have 76273 this one build the buildable bat pod this one we now know will be indeed from the dark knight rises so we based off the bat pod we see in that film and we will also have a 26 centimeter batman figure which you can build and ride on the bat cycle of a player and also display then we're coming in with 713 pieces for 65 dollars the batman figure will be similar to those construction figures we've seen release over marvel for the past few years and then 76276 this one is going to be the four plus bat cave this one will include the minifigures of batman joker and batgirl 184 pieces we've been a four plus set a premium price tag of 35 dollars and we can't forget the best set of the wave 76270 the batman mech this one essentially the format we see with marvel with the mechs but translated into dc for batman 140 pieces on that one for 15 dollars it's nice we're not just getting big batman sets this year but also a range of play sets those are going to be launching on june 1st 2024 so we should see images in the next few weeks but what we did get images of is the brand new lego space minifigures series at last after a lot of leaks and rumors we did get official images these are going to be still in the boxes but will be launching on may 1st and there is also qr codes on these so i presume you'll be able to scan them with the app when it does update it's 12 amazing and fun space characters so i'm sure a lot of you will be picking those up when they do launch on may 1st and some of you will even be buying full boxes where you should get free sets i just want to feature that as i really do love the design on that one and then if you're in the us i think these are only available in the us they do have the random six packs which you can buy and you get six random characters which you should get no duplicates included with those then we're going to move on some information about a theme which has kind of been going for a while in the shadows like a monkey kid it's going to have another wave in the summer and we now know the prices for those including 80058 this one the celestial pagoda being the biggest set of the wave we now know it's going to be retailed for 140 dollars which is fair value given it has 1621 pieces those giant monkey sets are always a highlight for me it's kind of wait to see images of that one then we have 80057 nezra ring of fire mech this one is now going to come in for 120 dollars not bad either given it as 1163 pieces then 80056 will be the nine headed beast this one is going to be a pretty interesting one coming in at 80 dollars with 757 pieces and finally we have 80055 the monkey kid teens power truck that one coming in for 70 dollars with 712 pieces just bear in mind when converting them prices to your region they do often differ really a lot with monkey kid around the world in different currencies so they could be way more in your country or way less it's just hard to tell with monkey kid but all of those should be launching on june 1st 2024 so once again we should get images in the next few weeks we got images of some more of the lego star wars main wave including the sith infiltrator this one should be coming in for 70 dollars or 60 pound how that for a lot of people is going to be the brand new sol guerrero minifigure and this one for 25 years of lego star wars also including darth maul qui-gon and also anakin as minifigures so definitely a pretty good lineup and um, their build is actually really growing me out i'm down tempted to pick this one up and the one releasing on the line that one is a mandalorian set being the bark speed escape this one including baby yoda also Kevin beck and two five or first troopers for 30 dollars or 25 pound a lot of you i'm sure will be getting that one for the Kevin beck minifigure which is brand new and exclusive for that one and then we actually know some information about the next 25th anniversary minifigure which is r2kt this one is going to be the last anniversary minifigure 
minifigure for this year. So yeah, as you can see, this is basically R2-D2 in a pink version, which is a tribute to someone who had cancer. It is going to be included in 40755, the Star Wars 25th uh, celebration. That one we know is containing 383 pieces and should be coming in at around about $40, launching on October 1st. So definitely a pretty good way for LEGO to do an anniversary minifigure to also pay tribute and hopefully raise some money for a real life cause as well. That one, we don't know what exactly the build will be, but it will include three rebel troopers and three stormtroopers. So I presume it'll be something similar and a bit random like we saw with the holiday Dharma last year. And then in March, we got the Lego Houses of the Shops World kind of thing. They're a bit of a spin-off from last year. And we now know the next one will be 40684. This one being the Mag Skill Fruit Store. It's going to be available with $200 spends on anything. So I think it was £180. We don't know the exact when it will release or anything like that. But I presume pretty soon, given we do now have the name. But of course, when I have details, I will keep you updated. We did get images as well of updated ones of the brand new water park and also the trophy awards so or high res images of these as gift with purchases. We don't know yet if there will be a gift with purchase or an insider's reward. We'll just have to wait and see. But it doesn't seem like they'll be coming in the near future. So when we know more information about that, I will let you know. But we do know some information about is the brand new minion sets or Despicable Me 4 sets actually launching in May. As we got our first image of one of the minifigures being grew. It looks a bit interesting given he doesn't have his iconic nose translated into minifigure form. He's going to be included in the biggest set coming in with $100, which has the entire Despicable Me family, which is sounding like great value. And we also know the poly bag will now be a minion jet board coming in for 48 pieces. Like I said, there is going to be all these sets, so four sets and one poly bag launching in May. So we should see images of those any day. And actually, the brick built minions will also include a brick built grew now. So it's going to be interesting to make some sets and also minifigures. So I'm excited to see how those end up turn out. But yeah, a lot of news, a lot of images today. I'm definitely excited for the brand new Commander Cody Brickhead. I know a lot of you will cannot wait for the brand new Lord of the Rings Barrow Dur set. It's going to be great to get a giant sail barge with Jabba minifigure. Cannot wait for those brand new Lego minifigure space and cannot wait for the brand new monkey sets. Those of who's new at Lego Leaks and Rumors, comment down below. What are you excited for? What are you not? You can like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for my Lego videos. I'm going to use the video to watch any videos on screen now. Remember, guys, keep clicking and breaking. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye bye.